Okay, so now that we established most of this. Ooh, okay. Maybe I'll gather more like this. Oh. <laughs> Maneuvering this. Here we go. Ha. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Okay, the ring is open. Okay, uh, well, how do yeah. I gather more? Yeah. I kind of expected to have gone more by just slowing down. I got a B. <laughs> huh? This is... Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. Incredible. Traverse Town. Look. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello! Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! <laughs> Sora, well, right? Yeah, but... Uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Whoa. Show off. I have cool tricks too. Once I unlock them. <laughs> okay, use the left stick and square to slide into a wall or pole and you would enter flow motion. While in flow motion, you can press circle to jump or square to gain a burst of speed. This makes getting around much easier. Slide towards the lamppost to gain a burst of speed. Okay, let's review. Oh, my bad. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, apparently I suck at this. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Ha. Oh. Yeah. Ha. 
That is amazing. You don't always have to slide into flow motion. You can use some objects like the handrails and ropes just by landing on them. Jump onto the rail to kick into flow motion. Um, I will. Yeah. Oh, I can't break those. Thank you for that amazing tutorial. Go after the point. So much for my flow motion. Which way did he go? Chess! Freeze! Oh wow. <laughs> All you had to do was press X. Okay, so I got a new standard keyblade. Oh wait. Yes, I get that I have a keyblade. I got scan. That's pretty useful. Does that mean I'm, I'm using it? <laughs> Reports... I really don't want to look at that right now. I don't want to look at those either. Good. I think. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> Anyways, so I'll just keep going. Okay, so I have a checkpoint. Fine. And wow. I don't know why I get in the habit of having to press on. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know my shapes, you guys. Uh, triangle. Why am I blocking? Okay, nothing on this side, so I get to go on and save. Scan under what? Yes. So we're looking for this guy instead of looking for Riku. <laughs> Good job. Use reality shift to bend the rules of the world around you. Reality shifts work differently in each world. If this pink symbol appears over a target, it's time for a reality shift. Press triangle plus circle to trigger reality shift. Triangle and circle. Hmm. Use the left analog stick to lock on to the objects you were targeting, then aim. Press cir uh, circle. <laughs> See you guys. I don't know my shit. Oh, the little bit. I can't speak properly. I can't say the shapes that I'm looking at. What else? <laughs> Press X to launch the targets in the trajectory shown and blast the any enemies it, it hits. Good to know. Thank you. Great invent uh, tutorial. Let's give this a try. Yeah. Triangle square. Wait. Uh, uh. Aim it at who? Hmm? 
it's gonna be quite difficult. Oh, that's how it works. Oh, it works. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think I got the hang of it, kind of. So if I want to throw it over by, let's say, okay, no, <laughs> I do not know. Oh wait, that's how you pick, throw it that far. I was trying to figure out how to throw it that far. If I press, what do I press? This way. That's no, no, no. Hmm. Okay. What are we gonna hey, discover? I didn't catch your name. Dream Eaters. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. <laughs> right. I knew that. Of course. You were just testing him. Don't let him surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku. Neku Saguraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it is. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. I think I discovered that when... With you, they're dream eaters too. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. <laughs> you think you control them? Sure, I guess. Let's take a look at uh, what the tutorial would say. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort. We need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. 
But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you, just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. List the materials needed to create a meow wow. Hmm. You would often receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares. Okay. You can then use those dream pieces to create spirits, as in friendly dream eaters. Go ahead and get started by selecting spirits and create spirits. <laughs> Create spirits using a recipe. Or create spirits from scratch. Okay. Okay, to create a spirit using recipes, you'll need to collect the materials in advance. Starting from scratch may allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Once you've settled on what spirit you want to create, you can sacrifice the deck command to give your creation a stat boost. Your new spirit is part of the family. Be sure to give it a meaningful name and lots of TLC. <laughs> now select the recipe for the spirit you want to create. Select the spirit you want to create and uh, if you use more materials than the recipe requires, you can create a spirit with a high level or rank than usual. That's interesting. You can also sacrifice one of your commands to give the spirit a stat boost. Various types of bonuses are available. Why not choose the command now and power up your spirit? Uh, four? Five? Five? Yes? Four? That's all it lets me. Command... Do we use potion? I don't know. Create spirit? Yes. I don't know what I did, but I did it. <laughs> meow wow. So you're a meow wow. Give your new spirit a name. Oh man, I suck at this. Meow Wow, your new name is gonna be... Um... <laughs> okay, I think I know how to name you. I don't know if I'm gonna spell it properly. <laughs> Where is the... <laughs> I, I did not mean to do that. 